Don't be scared to tell somebody, I haven't, I haven't sold anything. Ricky, what do I say? I haven't sold anything. Doesn't matter if you haven't sold anything. They don't care how you, they don't, they're not looking for a number, guys. They're looking for how you answer the question. He gives us so much work, we can afford to do it cheaper, right? What was he telling me all those years ago? He was telling me, son, it doesn't matter about price. What matters is people, right? Number one. I think, I think sublimity, what he, was, what he was trying to say is, son, if you become a real estate agent in the next 10 years and a seller wants to give you a listing for half a percent less, don't turn it down because you're going to lose 10 to 20 deals from that relationship over the next 10 years over just half of a percent on this one deal. That's what he was telling me all those years ago. That's what I got out of it anyway. So thank you, Dad. Pretty special moment anyway, so... All right, how many new agents? Come on, guys, raise them up high. Raise them up high. Let's see the new agents. New, new, new. Come on, let me see it. Let me see it. Listen, don't worry about it. First words of advice for y'all, never raise your hand, admit, or tell anybody you're a new agent, ever. <laughs> if I could tell you one thing as a new agent, okay, and I really think this is the difference between why most agents fail. Just one word I could tell you, and it's going to be confidence. Confidence. Confidence in not only yourself, right? But also the business that you're in. Confidence that you're in a business that there's enough business to go around, right? Confidence in your intentions that you're here to help people, right? You go to a listing appointment, you know, and you're not 100% confident in who you are, what you're there to do and all this stuff. The, the, the seller can pick that out. They can see that a mile away. You're not going to get that listing. And you're going to say, what I do wrong? What I say wrong? What I do wrong? Did I not do the presentation or whatever? It wasn't any of that. You could do everything exactly the same way, but just come with 100% confidence and win the listing. It all comes from confidence. People are worried about the market crashing and people are worried about if there's enough business and you know, they're worried if their mom is gonna use them as an agent. <laughs> if you never sold a property and a seller in a listing appointment says, how many properties did you sell? You wanna look at him straight in his eyes and say none. And that's why you want me because I'm gonna spend every waking hour on just your deal. Your deal is gonna be at the very top of my priority list. Now, if you want Mr. 100 deals a year, Ricky, go ahead and go down to his office, look at him right in the face and ask him where your deal is gonna be on his priority list. I guarantee you he's not gonna be, it's not gonna be at the top. And if he tells you, it's a lie. He's definitely not gonna spend eight hours a day on just your deal like I am. Me as a new agent, I've got a huge advantage over experienced agents. I got time. See guys, it doesn't matter where you are in your career. Because some people are like, I'm too old. I don't know tech. I'm too young. I don't have experience. You know, whatever. Whatever you think your handicap is, is garbage. Don't be scared to tell somebody, I haven't sold anything. <laughs> Ricky, what do I say? I haven't sold anything. Doesn't matter if you haven't sold anything. They don't care how you, they don't, they're not looking for a number, guys. They're looking for how you answer the question. She got in six months ago. She's calling old expireds like six months old, setting appointments, going and getting listings, selling properties, six months in. I mean, she started calling from day one and she's, now she's closing deals. It takes, I'm seeing new agents come in, the ones that succeed, it, 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 they take some three to six months to get to the first deal. How is that any different than any other market? Why are we blaming inventory? Why are we blaming, oh, I have to write more offers for, I gotta you know, write more offers for this buyer stuff. Who cares? It's just a market cycle. We're here to help people, right? When you stop doing what you're doing for money and you do it just to help people, you get really happy and you get really wealthy. As hard as you guys think the market is, right? And as easy as I think it is. If you can make it right now during this market, I agree. It's probably as tough as it's ever been. Still really easy, okay? Get it out of your head. But if you can make it right now, if you can make it right now, any other market is a cake walk. You guys should be sitting around saying, I can't wait for that market to get here. I can't wait for the market to crash. Please, when's it gonna crash? It doesn't matter what the market's doing. There's always gonna be incredible opportunity, unlimited opportunities. People that want to become agents right now, 
they're reaching out to me. They're saying, Ricky, the market's here. There's all these agents. What if I get in? Is now a good time to get in? What if I get in and the market crashes? Then what? I'm screwed. I'm like, get your license right now. Because right now you're just talking. I don't really do, I, I don't really listen to people that talk. I just want to see what you do. Go get your license right now, right? Get your feet wet and then hope the market crashes. For, 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 for your benefit though. Not because, you know, people go in foreclosure and like th bad things happen. Like, no, I hate that part. But it's mother nature. Can you help it? You can't control it. That's why we shouldn't even be thinking about it. Different perspective. Different perspective. Is this helping, guys? Here in Miami, if you list a property, how long does it take to sell? Under a day? Okay, under a day. It's the same way everywhere in the country. Agreed? Agreed. So there's 1.5 million agents, 1.2 million listings when they wrote the article, right? What does that mean? Why are we worried about that? Because we should know that the 1.2 is going to sell today. And then what? There's another 1.2 tomorrow. There's another 1.2 tomorrow. There's 1.2 the next day. Then they're going to sell. There's another 1.2 the day after that. Do you guys understand this? Please don't let the media, right, and other outlets and coaches and trainers and all this stuff get to you. Just, let's, just, just follow me on all social platforms, all right? Listen to what I'm saying through these market moments, all right? And get your mind, get your... Get your Get your philosophies and your mindset uh, wrapped around what I'm saying here and try to piggyback off what I learned over the last 20 years. I wish I would have. I wish I would have been a little wiser with listening to people more, asking more questions, reading more and stuff like that and early on in my career. It took me having to lose everything to start reading. Once I lost everything, then I was like, okay, I'm gonna start reading now. What's the population? Six million? Let's just call it Let's just call it 3 million, all right? Who cares? There's, there's 50,000 agents versus 3 million people. 80% of those agents ain't doing nothing. Right here, this is the only agents right here in the room that's doing anything in the whole market. <laughs> Guys, I don't care. I don't care how many agents are in the market. I don't care what the market's doing. I don't care about supply, demand. How do I get my buyer's offer accepted? I don't care. You got people coming up here and trying to sell you all this stuff. And hey, the business is so complicated. If you just pay me all this money, I could just fix everything for you. And you'll just be making a million dollars in no time. Let me just tell you the real, th real deal for free right now. Go in your market, make five new friends or property owners every single day. Let me, let, me, let me phrase the strategy right here, right? Let me, get, let me get into the finer details of it, right? With basically one sentence. And then I wanna ask you a question. Instead of doing social, Zillow, Realtor.com, postcards, open houses, all the things that you guys are doing, why don't I go straight to the source? Why don't I just get the exact property owners that I wanna do business with? Why don't I just get their contact information for two cents a piece, call them up, just to make friends, not sell them anything, just to make friends, followed by a weekly email on the same day of the week forever. Why don't I just do that, right? So think about this, five new friends a day, 25 in a week, 100 in a month, 1,200 in a year, 24 in two, 36 in three, 4,800 in four years. Let's call it 5,000. So you got a couple extra in there. If you have a database of 5,000 property owners in your market, 5,000 property owners you've talked to and made friends with, that are getting a weekly email from you on the same day of the week forever for the last four years, how big is your business? 